Good morning, Reiki Temple, and welcome to day four of our 21 day self healing challenge. Last night I felt a little bit stiff around the hips, so I laid in bed, gave myself a hip treatment, and then went on up, 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 and I've had the best sleep I've had in days. Oh, it's just so yummy to fall asleep right after or during a Reiki treatment. And you can fall asleep during a Reiki treatment, it's actually very common. There's just this deep relaxation that's being awakened in, in the entire being. Just this deep healing where the body can completely relax into the purity of the energy that's coming in. And you just fall asleep and it's just complete bliss, sometimes with very intense dreams very clarifying dreams every now and then and sometimes it's just the sleep that you needed to look a bit differently at life so yeah for all of you who have been doing the self treatments if you're doing them during the day it, it's beautiful it can be such a, a holy or sacred moment in the middle of your day but you can also do them right before you go to sleep if you're a bit short on time and just fall asleep with it so for those of you who have been attuned to Reiki but haven't been using it so much, once you turn your hands on, you're pretty much on. You're a clear channel and the energy will flow through. It's pure, it's healing no matter how you feel, no matter how you focus, no matter if your thoughts are going everywhere. Just as long as you have turned it on. You are a channel. That's all. You turn it on and you turn it off. You're like a radio that's being turned on to the right frequency and once you turn it on, it stays on until you turn it off. So if you fall asleep while reikiing yourself, it is very likely you will continue reikiing yourself. For those of you who have not been attuned to reiki yet, it does take a little bit more effort. Um, just feel for yourself uh, how much focus you need. I think it it's, depends on it changes for every every person. Just as long as you keep focusing on that white light that comes streaming into your crown into your heart and through your arms and out of your hands and that white light is what's going into your body and it's pure and it's love and it's healing and it's delicious and enjoy it working with energy for your own healing and your own balance and harmony and whatever it brings for you it's just so simple yet so so effective so that on Reiki for today. The other thing that I wanted to share with you today is a little bit about me. I've been uh, moving houses a lot this last year. I think I've lived in five different houses with my three-year-old son. And this could be extremely strenuous. And sometimes, yes, it was exhausting and I was tired. And I did not want to leave the beautiful house that we were in because it just felt so good. But then we would get to that other place and it would feel so good again. And the reason it felt so good again, it felt so beautiful every single time, was because I decided to make it so. That being said, they were a house of lovely people, so the energy there was already very loving and very warm. But still, it is their home, their, their house. So what can I do to make it my temple? And this is your exercise for today. What can you do to make your home more than your home? What can you do to make it your temple? So I would like to invite you to make a sacred space at some place in your house. This is what I've done in all those houses. I've made one spot that was the dedicated sacred space. And there I would place a picture, some crystals, a candle, just anything that felt right. It's my altar. It's, it's where I would go to if I needed silence again. It's like the, the center of that beautiful energy, the reminder of that it is actually in me. So care, yeah. what you want to put on your altar is completely up to you. It could be just one photo of someone who inspires courage in you. Um, it could be a candle, it could be some crystals, it could be a drawing that you made that you would like to remember because it's it inspires this spark within you. Um, or make a drawing to do that. 
it can be anything, right? I'm sitting in front of my altar right now. I've got some, some cards and drawings from Ireland that I took with me last time that always inspire, uh, inspire me to live me. What else do I have? It's a bit dedicated to spring and rebirth right now. So there's a, a fresh branch of a willow tree that blew off. It's beautiful. It's got some little green um, buttons. I don't know the word in English on it. What else do we have? Sage, candles. There's a bunch of other stuff that I'm not going to describe right now. But for me, this is the center of rebirth and just the place that I come back to if I want to experience that silence within me. So what you do, you clean the space, you clean the surface, you put your symbols, your tokens, your, your love in there. And afterwards, when you've done that, you can always give it some Reiki. Reiki is this beautiful, neutral, healing frequency. So if you add some to there, it will kind of be sealed as this little healing corner that you've made for yourself. So just give it some Reiki, because you can give Reiki to anything. You can give Reiki to space, you can give Reiki to people, to yourself, you can give Reiki to your animals, to your food, to your water, to your plants, anything. It's great. Either way, you give Reiki to your altar. And you enjoy that. And that's this very neutral energy. So if you do want to add uh, a different kind of flavor of energy to it, you can always just sit there and... and uh, set the intention, pray, uh, or sing a song. Sing a song that, that has the right energy for you. And connect that to it. And know that it's a space that for these 21 days and after you can always come back to if you need that little reminder of your own courage and your own strength and your own silence. So it's a place that you can just look at to have that reminder. It's this little amulet in the middle of your house that makes your house more than your house. It makes it your sacred space. It makes it your temple. It's that simple. So I've got a, a song that I like to sing every time I create a, a new, new altar. I kind of open it once more and I would like to sing that song for you in, in your sacred space right now. Spirits and teachers of the East Purify me, take away all my pain, so that I may be filled with love. Spirits and teachers from the South, purify me. Take away all my pain So that I may be filled with love Spirits and teachers from the West Purify me Take away all my pain So that I may be filled with love Spirits and teachers from the north Purify me Take away all my pain So that I may be filled with love Spirits and teachers from below Purify me Take away all my pain So that I may be filled with love Spirits and teachers from above Purify me Take away all my pain So that 
sky may be filled with love. Spirits and teachers from within. Purify me. Take away all my pain so that I may be filled with love. And the space is open and it's blessed. If you feel like it, maybe share a picture of the sacred space that you already have, that you have recreated, that you have created of your altar. Share some symbols of courage that you've placed on there. I'm looking forward to seeing all your beautiful creations. And enjoy your self-treatment again today on this beautiful, beautiful spring day.